welcome to another run here on ATS. Hope your Monday is going good. I mean, as good as a Monday can go, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, no changes to the truck right now. We got a load of recycled oil going from Elko, Nevada to Reno, Nevada. That's what we got on the docket today. So, shut this up for a second. We're going to get to it, but, you know, my skin's been doing pretty good here. So, I made a couple more, and I'm just going to show um, the skins here. Uh, it's, it's this one? Yes. This one, it's got, it's purple, it has pink and white pinstripe bang on it, and some graphics and things. I've got the chick on here for my logo this time, and things like that. Now, <laughs> on the back, and I screwed up. And, I, I had it in purple, it was supposed to be white. It said, are you looking at my ass? Well, that didn't work out. However, <laughs> originally when I made it, I messed up and she was here. So it looked like <laughs> the airlines were coming out of her butt. Uh, <laughs> did not look good. Um, yeah, I, I <laughs> didn't think the airlines looking like it was coming out of her butt was a good idea but yeah it looks pretty good and the metallics are nice and everything like that so the interior that's what it looks like with the paint and you know the, the dash and things to match the paint and things like that so the other one that we have here is this one and it is red and it's got devils on it um, and some tribal type things on it here so and the inside, kind of the same thing. Just wanted to show that and things like that. So, yeah, those are the two skins. The other two that I made. And so far they look pretty good. So, yeah, let's uh, get back to what we were originally doing here. Which is, now it's raining lovely. Um, we've got recycled oil. Tipping the scales at 28,314 pounds. Heading to uh, Reno to the Volta Center. Which is car dealership, and we're leaving the Kenworth dealership here. Now I don't know if this would be something that would be recycled by that particular dealership, but if that was the case, I would assume that the Kenworth dealer would be using it. You know, in their because a lot of times you can actually have a furnace that burns used oil, or they would recycle it themselves. So that's a little bit weird, but. It is what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's some kind of magic oil that uh, can't be uh, used here. But my skins are always up there in, in the description. And the trailer will be in there as well. And I just put these up here, the skin and the other two I just showed you, on my Google Drive. Now, whether or not you want to roll around with Green River Trucking on your truck that's up to you but I figured I'd leave it as an option to throw them up there in case you dig them so I will be getting into doing more some more generic skins with no logo on them um, at some point but I just wanted to have some nice skins for my company here so without further ado here let's get trucking and let's roll up our windows a little bit here so we're not getting rain in here. But we still want some fresh air. <laughs> Get our wipers going here. And we're gonna hit the road.
but yeah, it definitely happens with this trailer. The loads look really, really nice, and the trailer itself looks freaking sweet. And I noticed after my step deck videos, I noticed there's a few more people on ATS. One of the, you know, some of the pages on Facebook for ATS that actually are using it now, so that's kind of cool. And we're just going to turn it. Don't care. <laughs> Wow, that revved up high enough. <laughs> yeah, I cut you off. I don't give a shit. You aren't gonna move over anyway. You never fucking do. So... <laughs> So it's hammer down. Set the cruise here, and we are hauling ass. So, a <laughs> little bit about today's title, you might have noticed I have wood. Yes, I do. No, I'm not talking about my erections. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I know what the title's going to be, like this video, because I know what I want to talk about, and sometimes it just kind of comes to me. So, uh, <laughs> no pun intended there. Um, but... Yes, I have wood, and I'm not going to talk about my erections, like I said. Um, no, I was at the job site today, and, uh, well, Friday, I got some scrap wood, some old scrap 2x4s and things um, for some firewood. And then today, a bunch of firewood, the, the homeowner said that they had, had been sitting there for, I think she said, three, maybe four years. And um, said that they never really used it anymore and go ahead and take it. So, between Friday at the job site and today, um, I got about three quarters of a pickup load of firewood. So, now in my backyard, I've got a big ass pile up against the tree. So, yeah, by where my fire pit is. So, definitely happy about that because now. Um, that's going to pretty much last me the rest of the summer and fall. So, that's cool. And I like to have fires. I usually do one about every other weekend and invite some friends and family and things. And, and things of that nature. So, yeah. Definitely got plenty of firewood for, for the fire coming up on Friday night here. So, definitely excited about that. And I was pleasant. Wow, I didn't notice that. Metallics in the visor, too. That's bad fucking ass. That is badass. Um, anyway, sorry, squirrel moment. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I got plenty of firewood for Friday, and that's cool, and I got enough to now last me probably the rest of summer and fall, like I said. So, um, definitely happy about that. So, went ahead, picked it up, put it in my boss's dump truck there, and and all that stuff. So, then got back to his place today at the end of work and went ahead and threw it all in my truck. I am pleasantly surprised. The second gen did not squat at all. I figured it would, but it didn't. It, it didn't even squat an inch. I mean, it just... nothing. So, 
the ride quality was a lot nicer, I can tell you that. Uh, my regular cab long box with the uh, load of wood in the back um, rode about like my crew cab and my 7.3 did empty. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely happy to have a shit ton of firewood. And definitely happy to see that my truck took it like a champ and no problems, no issues. And Whoa, I am speeding like fucking crazy here. Holy shit balls. Didn't even notice I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, I more than more than happy with, with the truck how it did, so that's cool. probably another, I'd say, half pickup load of firewood yet that the people that's renting the place out now until they sell it um, probably aren't going to use. So I may end up going to get that as well, which again, free. <laughs> I like having plenty and then I don't need to worry about And the other thing too is I've still got probably half dozen big ass frickin' uh, pallets too that um, I haven't used yet. So yeah, that was a trailer load of pallets I had before and now I've got half a dozen pretty good sized ones. So I've actually used quite a bit of firewood had quite a few fires this year so far, so... Okay, somebody needs to be moving faster than the other one. It doesn't seem like that's happening. So... These 80 mile an hour speed limits, I really don't know if I like them that much. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem to take much to get everything squirrely here. And we don't want to be wrecking while we're out here trucking. So. But. Anywho. So yeah, I may be going to pick that up at some point. To get. To get that picked up. So. Um, and then Saturday. Planning on going to the junkyard to finally get my dash pad. And I know I've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now. Um, but I'm finally going to be able to go get it. Um, the weather's going to be nice. It's going to be, it's not going to be terribly hot. not going to be horribly humid. It's not supposed to be. And it doesn't look like it's going to rain too much. So, should be cool. Should be able to get it done, get it out, and hopefully put that in on Sunday. So, nice little weekend coming up here that I'm looking forward to. So, yeah, definitely... Definitely looking forward to the weekend here now, you know, fire Friday night, junkyard Saturday, and putting in my parts on Sunday, so it's definitely, definitely going to be a great white trash weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, definitely excited for weekend here, uh, and it's only Monday, so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, things are definitely looking up here, so goes well. But yeah, the, the firewood I picked up today, I mean, the, the, the scrap wood from Friday, you know, scrap 2x4s and shit, that's going to work fine. Um, however, the stuff that I got today after, you know, it's been sitting for a couple of years, that's going to burn pretty nice and it's going to be pretty dry. So, I shouldn't have any issues with trying to get fire started and things like that, as well as also in the bunch of shit I got today. Oh, excuse me. Are some scrap cedar, you know, pieces of cedar wood. I mean, there's probably a few pieces, probably six inches long, 
like some square tubes that went around like the fence post is decorative thing and that's all cedar um, so that should burn pretty nice uh, that should be able to catch fire pretty good and, and, and get the fire going here on Friday, for me on Friday. Um, I may not even have to use diesel fuel. <laughs> Again, white trash. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, what do you expect? I live in a small town with maybe 150 people and <laughs> I drive a second gen Dodge with a 12 valve. What do you expect here? Um... <laughs> So yeah, definitely, definitely excited about everything coming up this weekend, especially the fire. Be a good time to hang out with my family, especially my cousins, my Uncle Rex, who I love dearly. And my Uncle Rex and I are very, very close. Um, and so it's just going to be kind of neat, nice to hang out with them, and, and especially my uncle and stuff. And my uncle's the one, like I said, I've talked about before, my uncle hooked me up with a craftsman riding more and it has been great and so far in all honesty the mowing has literally been the only thing that has gone completely to plan not, never any screw ups other than the dead battery when I first uh, got started on it but eh it is what it is so <laughs> sometimes shit just happens but uh, yeah so definitely excited to have some nice dry wood for the fire and, and keep everything nice and going. And pallets usually burn pretty good, but sometimes it's green and when it gets rained on, then it makes it even worse. And it, green wood just really soaks that up really, really well. And so having some nice seasoned, if you will, firewood is going to be nice. And so, yes, that is that's nice to, to have, nice to see, nice to, to just have, and especially, you know, the cedar things, that's going to help catch the wood pretty pretty quickly, like I said, I may not even have to use diesel fuel this time, um, but, uh, yeah, so, like I said, fire Friday night, I'm really excited for, um, junkyard Saturday morning, I'm really, really excited for that, to get my dash pad, like I said, to find a red interior dash pad in perfect shape is like the fucking holy grail. It's like literally, I would expect more to see Bigfoot than I would to see a red dash pad in perfect shape. I mean, seriously, it's <laughs> that's very, very uncommon. Uh, the red is hard to find, and to find a dash pad in perfect shape um, is crazy. And especially being 25 bucks, shit, that's going to be sweet. I'd even be willing to take a gray one for that kind of money. Especially, you know, since the truck's going to be painted gray. And like I said, what I'm planning on doing is just using case construction gray and throw some red metallic flake in it. So even if it was a, a gray dash pad, it would still look fine. Uh, but yeah, to find a red one in perfect shape is great. Uh, like I said, red's a harder color to find for some reason, and I don't know why. I mean, it seems like they made enough of those red and tear to second gen, so... But I think it's a lot It's a lot less common than um, the gray. And actually, the, the, the interior on second gen that is extremely hard to find, and is very rare to find, is blue. Um, there are some that were blue, so... But yeah, a new dash pad is going to cost you a hundred bucks. Yeah, I've seen those online for a hundred bucks. So to pick one up that's in really good shape for twenty-five bucks is a freaking steal. So... Destination, so no accidents and issues so far. So, so far, so good. <laughs> Not a bad Monday run here. N14 
making this sounds tits. I thought about running a Caterpillar in Detroit. Don't get me wrong, they sound nice, but not as nice as this. I mean, that just sounds badass. Oh, Tesla, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. So now I'm really confused as to why Tesla, <laughs> an electric car company of all places, is getting used oil. <laughs> Unless maybe that's what they're making the plastic panels out of. Who knows? Uh, you never really know what Elon Musk is up to. Um, now let's see. Now these Teslas can be a bitch. And we have seen this. So, let's see here. Let's go this way and see if it doesn't bite me in the ass. It seems like every time I go into a Tesla here, um, I usually end up pulling on the wrong side. So. That makes it more of a pain in the ass than it needs to be. So, we'll see how things go here. Uh, and we got some trailers here. But luckily, this one here is a short one. So, I'm able to hopefully be able to cut this a little bit inside more. Rather than if it was like a 53 foot, like this big ass triple axle here. So, hopefully... We'll be able to get it in. Again, why they're using, having, taking used oil or something like that. Again, maybe it might actually be the whole oil burning furnace type thing. That could be a situation where I could see. I mean, it makes sense. Um, we are screwing this up today, so. Way to go, Green Bin. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, man. Get your head out of your butt here. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's get this backed in here. I think we might be able to do it this time. Just maybe. We might have it. Probably going to have to pull up straight up here. But, we should be able to get her in here without too many issues. Let's go to first person, because sometimes it actually, you can't see shit out of this movie. Sun's shining literally right into it, it seems like. So, so yeah, it's looking out that mirror, it's not going to do me shit, so... We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way here. Looking right out the window here. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah, people from Wisconsin, actually, where I'm from, do not actually talk like that, so... <laughs> Hey, we got her in here. Is it centered? Uh, I'm guessing not. Yeah, and crookeder than a pig's dick. Jesus Christ. Eh, fuck it. They'll take it, so I'll just be fine with it. Uh, I'll, I'll just dump it off and be on about my way here. So, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks for all the skin downloads. You guys are awesome. Um, I have seen a couple other people running some of my skins. Even on the, well, mostly on the old SCS peak, because I just released the skins for Vipers here yesterday. So, thank you for all that and everything else. So, yeah. Um, the skins are, this is the names. If you go to my drive, uh, this should be Green River Trucking, 379, 389. Um, the Devil one should be Green River Trucking Red Devil or something like that. And the other one is Green River Trucking Purple. Um, download it, and it should always be in the description. Or usually in the title, if it's now for Vipers, I will put 379, 389 usually, or put Viper in it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, so, <laughs> enough ramblings here. So, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the video here. So, till the next one, take her easy and all that good stuff.